Hey, Todd Jarrett here today for Blackhawk, and I'm going to show you some techniques on the proper way how to be able to draw your gun from appendix carry or inside the waistband, what they call. So I have one of my concealed carry holsters that I like to use for appendix carry. I like to start out with no garment on where I can be able to get to the firearm properly and safely. But the most important thing is that when I'm drawing the gun, I want to make sure my finger goes along the frame of the gun as I'm drawing it up and out to the target. Once I finish shooting, if your firearm does have a safety on it, like the staccato here on a, on a 1911 or 2011 pistol, make sure I put my safety back on prior to reholstering. Key thing here is that I do not want to knock the safety off in the holster. I want to make sure that safety comes off and down range when I go to fire my firearm and be able to practice with that. So these are one of the techniques we need to look for. Let's get loaded up and I'll show you how to draw it properly. Okay, let's look at appendix carry and take a look where your support hand should actually be at. So if we're dealing with garment and we're going to pull it up, your hand will actually, support hand will be in this location. Remember, your finger outside of the trigger guard, we're drawing this up and out to drive it to the target and stick it back in the holster with our finger back outside of the trigger guard. So I'm looking to make sure that my support hand is going to be up closer to my chest in the center of my chest because that's where I'm going to be grabbing my garment and bringing that up and out. So if we're going to experiment with that, so without garment, we're going to test that and we see exactly where our hand is physically going to be each and every time we draw the gun up and out to the target. Now let's try this technique with a garment on. So in the earlier segments, we talked about dry firing before we go to live fire. Finger out of the trigger guard, but if you notice earlier, I said keep your hand to your chest. And the reason why we're doing it, we're grabbing the garment to pull it up to the center of our chest or underneath our neck area in order for that garment to clear properly. What we don't want to happen is, is that as we're coming up, we don't want to skirt that and be able to grab garment and gun at the same time. You could drop the firearm and it could discharge. So the key thing here is, is make sure that we pull the garment up and out to our face or up in our center of our chest in order to be able to draw that correctly. So let's show this one more time. Those are techniques that we're looking for to make sure that you're safe and learn how to carry properly with the appendix carry. So I want everybody to go out and practice. Good luck and safe shooting. I'll see you on the range sometime.